While addressing a press conference on Afghanistan crisis, U.S. President Joe Biden defended the decision of withdrawing U.S. troops from Afghanistan after the Taliban took control over the capital city, Kabul. President Biden said that American troops cannot and should not fight in a war or dying in a war that Afghan forces are not willing to fight for themselves. I stand squarely behind my decision. After 20 years, I've learned the hard way that it was never a good time to withdraw U.S. forces. That's why we were still there. But the truth is that it was done more quickly than anticipated. So what has happened? Afghanistan's political leaders gave up and fled the country. The Afghan military collapsed. American troops cannot and should not fight in a war or dying in a war. The Afghan forces are not willing to fight for themselves. We spent over trillion dollars. We trained and equipped Afghan military forces. We gave them every tool they could need. We paid their salaries, provided maintenance for the Air Force, something that Taliban doesn't have. But what we could not provide them was the will to fight for the future, said President Biden. Biden has decided to allocate up to $500 million to help refugees from Afghanistan, the White House said in a statement on Monday. I hereby determine that it is important to the national interest to furnish assistance under the MRAA in an amount not to exceed $500 million from the United States Emergency Refugee and Migration Assistance Fund for the purpose of meeting unexpected urgent refugee and migration needs of refugees, victims of conflict and other persons at risk as a result of the situation in Afghanistan, Biden said in a memorandum for the Secretary of State. The U.S. has been withdrawing its forces as the military mission in Afghanistan is on the verge of ending. I stand squarely behind my decision. Biden said in a televised address to the nation from the White House East Room. His remarks came a day after the Taliban takeover of Kabul. He said that the U.S. military mission will be short and focused on getting our people and our allies to safely as quickly as possible. Taliban ended Kabul on Sunday and took control of the presidential palace. Taliban leaders have been discussing future government plans in Doha after gaining control of Kabul, as per a media report. Panic has gripped the Afghan capital as people fear a return to the Taliban's brutal rule and the threat of reprisal killings. Thousands of Afghans flooded the Tamarik on Monday morning, at one point swarming around a departing U.S. military plane as it taxied down the runway. News Desk English